guys, I'm Levi Gates and welcome to Detox. With me today, Mr. Ivan LaCroix of Optimum Polymer Technologies. Welcome, Ivan, how Thanks are you? Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. And the rag master in the house, <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey Hennon, vice president of the rag company. This is the boss, well, Carolyn's the boss. Carolyn's the boss. Yeah. <laughs> but we got Jeff here to talk about towels. We're going to talk about different types of towels. We're going to talk about the weave of towels, why microfiber towels are different. Everybody thinks that they're, they're all the same. One, I can just use this Costco towel. It does a great job on everything. Why is this towel more expensive than this one? Why does this look like that? Why is this one more fluffier? Why is this one more plush? What's the difference in the GSM? Why is it like that? Um, so we've got different types laid right. out and we're gonna kind of touch base on all of them. Uh, first, we'll start with the, uh, the one everybody knows, the Terry Weave Microfiber. Uh, this is what you're going to see 90% of the time. Terry is a weave. It's a lot of times people think Terry is uh, strictly limited to cotton towels. Terry is a style of weave and so it's actually the, the most popular uh, blend in, or excuse me, most, most popular weave in the world. Yeah. Uh, more Terry towels are sold for all purpose. Uh, typically if you see the term all purpose, they're usually talking about a Terry weave uh, because they're, they're wonderful for, uh, for from detailing to cleaning to just about about anything you can you can think of and as you get into uh, some of the lighter uh, weights and they're fairly inexpensive and they're disposable in certain purposes hospitals a lot of times we sell one for uh, hospital purposes that are great for cleaning instruments and stuff like that but they want to pitch it they want to throw yeah. it away when they're done so, it's a, so it can be disposable the price is lower on them absolutely um, and sometimes the blends are lower sometimes you can get a really high high uh, you know polyester polyamide mix absolutely you get a really nice blend, yeah. Terry uh, towel. The polyester polyamide mix. Explain sure. That. Polyester polyamide. There's two different made ingredients within microfiber, and you've got uh, the first one is polyester. It's cheap. It's plentiful. It's kind of the backbone of the towel. It gives it its substance. The polyamide, uh, otherwise known as kind of a nylon, it's a nylon derivative. Um, it is uh, typically the 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 element that gives it kind of its softness, its absorbency. Um, it, it really helps transport a towel from, uh, let's say like a 9010 that you buy at your big box yeah, you store. You get it at like O'Reilly's or, or Home Depot. Yeah. You buy a pack of microfibers. You, you, it says microfiber. Oh, I bought a pack of microfiber right. towels. Well, they're not all the same. Maybe you got a 9010 if you were lucky. I, I've seen 95 I've seen 95.5s. It's always yeah. a fun game. Next time you're out at, a, at any of these stores, just pull a towel off of, a, off of the rack and you can look on the back and not always, but sometimes it'll tell you the, the blend on the back. And it's kind of fun when you find a 95.5 and uh. feel it. It's very different than, say, a typical 80-20, which is the norm, yep. um, or 70-30, which is and very try, soft. And try putting a drop of water on it. And try putting a drop <laughs> of water on it. Sometimes you can find them that are 100% polyester. And oh boy, I don't think those towels absorb anything. No, <laughs> no. They're great at moving water. Yeah, they're great at pushing it. You need to push a bunch of water from one end of the other to the other. Works great. That would do the trick. In the case of the rag company, we only sell 80-20 to a 70-30 blend. Yep. And it depends upon the purpose of, uh, you know, whether you're looking for uh, like an all-purpose terry for, like I say, for, for general cleaning purposes. Yep. Um, whereas if you're, you are using it on paint, um, we have our Edgeless 365. That's a 70-30, very popular towel. But you can tell the difference with the absorbency um, if you're using it to either to wipe up any water or, or uh, anything that, that, that you want it to, to perform for its absorbency. Um, or its softness. Or its softness. You can really tell the difference. It might be subtle, but it's, it's definitely there. It's worth spending a few extra, you know, a little bit extra money to, uh, to get a higher quality towel anytime you're on your paint. Now, if you're doing stuff like wheel wells, door jams, uh, things that you're not maybe quite as concerned with, 80-20 can work just fine. Um, but a lot of times what we kind of coach people on, on when it comes to paint, uh, the 70-30 is a good way to go for for uh, for those kinds of purposes. Yep. So that's that's the blend. Correct. On And we've got towels all across the line, uh, but like Jeff said, between 80 and 20, or 80-20 and 70-30. Um, yeah. 80, 80 is polyester and 20 is the polyester. Yes, yes that's correct. Yep. Correct. So 
And, you know, as far as, uh, you know, getting into a lot of the different weaves, well, actually, let's go on weight just for yep. a second here. Um, microfiber, the, the international standard is GSM, grams per square meter. And that's one way to compare the weight of the towel, not the plushness. People always think that... that uh, thicker the, GS, a higher GSM number. It's like a 420 GSM. Right. It may or it may not. In some cases, yes, it is a thicker towel. Uh, let's take like the uh, the Everest 800. That, that's a great example. This guy. It's a shorter nap, but it's a very, very dense towel. And professional detailers love it because it's, it's a great short nap, super soft, and it's going to get the job done. You don't need something that's going to be super plush. Sometimes people get scared away by the heavier weight. Other times they are expecting a, a bigger, thicker, plush your towel um, and, and it just depends upon what you're going to be using it for but in the case of uh, like the 800 uh, it can be deceiving because if you yeah. look at the nap say between this and the Eagle the fibers are actually longer on the Eagle than they are on the 800. Well, the Eagle is about 480 GSM, so, so it's a little half more the than GSM. Half. Yeah, but it's it's. But it looks taller. It looks fluffier than than the bigger than so the bigger you, GSM towel. Yep, absolutely. You want to make sure as as you're looking for different towels, what is it you're going to be doing with it? Um, now, your guys' case, you both have 20 plus years of experience, and and you have your own uh, likes and dislikes for different. Uh, I know you like a shorter nap towel. You love the waffle weaves yep. uh, Ivan and so you know that's that's through experience and there's a good reason why you have that, the, that kind of a uh, an experience same time you can find somebody else with your level of experience they want a plush towel exactly. for a certain reason yep, and, and it really comes down to if it works like you guys say all the time if it works stay with it yeah. and it's, it isn't just our towels it's anybody's towels if, yeah. if they work for you you know of course I'd love to sell you right company towels but there's a a lot of really good quality manufacturers out there as well and they put out a great product yeah um, and we like to cater to we we have different everybody goes on and goes man you guys have too many towels well we do because we want to cater to everybody we want everybody to be able to pick the towel that they like the best we want them to be able to use the towel that makes them happy right you know if you like using a waffle weave on glass Use it, buy it, it's a great towel. If you like using a, a, a window, a glass towel that we have, which is a, a, a herring different bone. herringbone weave, um, use it. Like there's no wrong way to detail. There's no just wrong like towel we said. for the job. There's no wrong towel for the job. It's what makes you happy and what, what, uh, what, you know, how your customers react when they see their car. Yeah. You know, and what I always like doing is I like put a nice towel when I'm wiping down their car at the end, and then they go, oh, "What's that kind of towel? What is, what is that?" Sometimes a higher end towel can bring in a higher. The customers see that you're you're doing the, the due diligence. If they're touching a towel they've never touched before, it means you're onto something that they don't, and they will trust right. you a little more. Yeah. They like seeing that. You know, everybody's seen the Terry weave, yep. but when you get into something like the coral weave that's here. Uh, this is something completely different that nobody's seen before, and it's, wow, it's super soft and plush. So yeah, extremely soft and plush. And actually, just next to that is a is a new weave. It's a, a, a loop tear. Uh, excuse me, twist tear, twist loop. Yep. And that's kind of coming attractions. We don't have that out uh, quite yet, but it is coming soon. It is coming soon. We and need a name. Yeah, and it is a great towel. The the twisted loop like this has. When you first feel it, it actually feels rough, but it, it isn't rough. You can take it on the finest of paint and it's not Absolutely. gonna scratch anything. Yeah. But it's a, an extremely absorbent towel. And also, if you're taking off polish, or if you're taking off wax, it's aggressive enough. It's got a it, bite. It's, yeah, it has bite, thank you. Great term. Uh, so it has bite, it's very absorbent, and you know, it's not a, I profess, I'm not a, a lover of plush towels. They're great as a bath towel. <laughs> you know, I'd love to have it as a bed sheet. But, uh, you know, a towel, I'm a, a low nap sort of guy. And even though this is a higher nap, it has the aggressiveness and it has the bite that I'm not having to wipe over the surface four or five times, one pass and it's done. Right. Yep. Yeah. So, so coming attraction. Yep. <laughs> like I said, we need a name. So email me, Levi at theragcompany.com, if you have some ideas for our twist pile towel. And we're actually going to have multiple versions of it. We that. are. We've got a glass towel we're going to be doing in that. You experienced yep. it last yep. week. It's great for glass. Um, it's wonderful for drying. And so, yeah, we'll probably do some kind of a naming contest. Yeah. We'll have some yeah. fun with it. Yeah. Next, we have our minks here. This is a coral weave. And yep. the coral weave, we are the only ones at the moment in the world with this. 
type of fabric or this weave uh, yeah. for sale of the of the major manufacturers yep. that I've seen. There, there's a few out there, but uh, <coughs> kind of far and few between. But I think when people experience it, and we saw everybody this, that's touched it. Yeah, when they it's, start using, it's a very dense weave. Yes. So if you look at the Eagle Edgeless that's there, that's an Eagle, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you look at the Eagle Edgeless, it's a nice, tall, fluffy nap, but the fibers are like far apart. Yep. This one, they're dense, they're close together. So. Yeah, it's really nice. I've been using it for, for uh, I played around with some paste waxes. It's really nice for that. Uh, I've got a bunch of guys that have been using it for um, compounds and polishes. They love using this towel yeah. to remove polish um, because it's so soft and it also has a nice bite to it. So um, it's very soft, but it's got enough to pull the, the product residue right. off the surface without harming the, yeah. the finish. And One of my favorite step. towels is the Pearl Weave. Yep. It's uh, extremely low nap. Got a lot of bite to it. Uh, great for coatings. Yeah. Uh, this is a towel we don't have uh, yeah, for, the moment, uh, for, for the sale at the moment. Coming yeah. attraction. Yeah. But this is also a little coming <coughs> attraction. So, um, but, sorry. Oh, Continue. go ahead. No, but the, the Pearl Weave, uh, it's a, a towel that you'll see uh, with OptiCoat. Yep. We actually, an opti there's a towel that comes in every OptiCoat package for the professionals that is the Pearl Weave, and that's to remove the coating. Uh, or not, we don't remove the coating, sorry, to spread out the coating. And it's a very nice towel for that. Yeah. Uh, great for glass as well. Yeah. I like a low nap for glass. So I, I was going to say, and you can go ahead and hold it up there, um, it, it is a thinner style of a towel. Um, when you have an edgeless towel, they're ultrasonically cut. And two environmental impacts to that can be heat and humidity. Um, when, it, when they're uh, cutting the edge of the towel, when you have a thinner towel like that, there's some excellent cuts on that. That's a great example. Um, it's tougher and, and you know, just to kind of give uh, people some insight here on, say like with the Eagle or, or any of a, a thicker plush towel. Like the Minx. Uh, yep. Like the Minx. Um, when you have a real thick uh, towel and you're trying to cut it, um, you can you can burn them, you can melt them uh, if it's too hot, and if it's too cold, think of it like cauterizing. And a lot of factories are not very experienced at it. At it. And we've seen some that uh, when we snap them, because we hand inspect every towel here at the rag company. Yep. Uh, we go and we'll snap every towel. We test every edge to check before we, you know, make them available for sale. And sometimes it's like a it, it's almost like a down pillow, yeah. like you see in we the movies those. when people have the pillow fight and it's feathers <laughs> everywhere. It's basically what this does if it's not cut properly. Yeah, it's either and, and we we pull those and yep. and for you know for a lot of people, it's it's not properly cut if it's too cold. It's gonna not properly cauterize the the towel so to speak. Yeah, yeah. And and the fibers can cut free. Um, if it's too it's, hot, it actually becomes like a melt. knife edge. Yeah, yeah. And we've seen uh, some towels uh, from competitors or where they've come through and it's just like, oh my gosh, you know, it's almost like you took a match to it and just kind of melt it. Yeah. And uh, it, you know, it is not an exact science when it comes to the thicker towels. It's a challenge. Yeah. And uh, in, in full disclosure, it really is. The thinner, uh, you know, the thinner the, the GSM or the thinner the nap, the easier it is to create an edgeless towel out of that. And we probably have one of the largest selections of edgeless towels in the world. Yep. So we're very cognizant of the potential issues with that and yeah. we try to try to take great and that uh, that's one of the reasons an edgeless towel is a little more expensive than an edge towel is because of the greater loss in manufacturing. Right. Yeah. Yep. You, you you know it's not just like you sew on an edge and you can hide anything. You know, not that you would hide, but we've seen some really cheap towels and you're well, and, wondering and how they got through. With with edges, edges make a difference. There are guys that like the the overlock stitch edge, which is a normal traditional style. There are a lot of guys that like the satin edge, and then there's a lot of guys that are that are edgeless guys and gals, I should say, that are that like an edgeless. Uh, Edge, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah. But uh, and the, all, we and do a version of uh, our overlock stitch edge is different than everybody else's. Good point. Uh, a cheaper towel is going to have 
a edge on every single corner of the towel. It's going to have two interlocking stitches there, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, you, you have ours one. is a continuous. So yep. we only have one spot where it interlocks to itself. Um, that's one way we're able to find out if it's our towel or not. If we're we saw that at SEMA. This we past did. Year. We saw it at SEMA this past year. Um, but uh, there's there's so there's different edges to each one, and there's a reason that some people like certain edges and some others. Yeah. So. And you mentioned the the different edges. People are afraid of the edges of towels, mm -hmm. but there's not one edge that scratches. Nope. They're all paint safe. Yeah, we don't sell anything that's not paint safe. Right. Yep. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. And there's also a new type of edge coming out. We are releasing some new products in the coming weeks here with a uh, suede edge. Um, matter of fact, here's an example here. This is our Buttersoft suede. And so we're taking this same Buttersoft suede and we're putting it, actually the pluffle is going to be the first one we're converting over to a suede. And part of the reason is you've got a 70-30 uh, blend here. It's going to be more absorbent on that leading edge. So if you're using, say, like the pluffle as a drying towel, now you've got, uh, rather than, you know, any sometimes satin with, with less expensive satin, we've seen, you know, competitor towels out there where they're pushing the water. Yeah, it's not we, absorbing it. And a lot of times people get that in their head. Oh, I've got a satin. Not all satins are created equal. Um, and so what we're trying to do to get over that perception is, is to get that sway on that leading edge. So as that leading edge comes across the paint, it's it's absorbing. It's, it's working not for you. It's, it's more efficient at drying. Yeah. Absolutely. And for those, that he mentions the suede edge. If you're doing automotive work, uh, Alcantara is exactly that material. Yeah, so. it's very soft. Yeah. It's very nice. We use these. People use these in their uh, as coating applicators um, because they're so soft. And so now we're going to add that softness to the edge of a towel. Yeah. Um, just to bring up you know, the level of our, our towels and our quality and the stuff that we're doing. Uh, we're constantly trying to push the envelope. Well, yep. One of the benefits of the rag company, we've worked with our Korean factory since 1999. We've got long-standing relationships with them. Uh, we do a lot of testing, a lot of prototyping. We're constantly pushing the envelope. They give us the ability to do that, as well as with our Chinese factory. And I say one because once we found one that could, could rival the, the processes that are in place with our, our Korean factories, uh, we stuck with them. We yep. stay with them. They do a fantastic job for us. Um, there's your, fa your factories are ISO 9001? They are ISO certified. Yeah. And, and that's really key as well because that, that ensures a, a level of, of uh, well, we talked about professionalism earlier yeah. and just lifting your game. And yep. that's, that's what our factories are doing as well. Um, and, but, and one of the things we do list, a lot of people want to know the differences of, are they all Chinese or they're all Korean? They're not. We list on our website under each towel what it is, where the country of origin, so whether it came from our Chinese factory or our Korean factory, we list the GSM. So you know the grams per square meter, the weight of each towel. Um, and then the final thing is we list the blend. So we tell you it's an 80-20. We tell you it's a 70-30. If, you're, you're never going to find that information on the towel because there's no tags. There are no right. tags. Correct. But you may not find that on other companies. No. If you're buying microfibers, educate yourself. Find out what the GSM is. Find out what the country of origin is. Find out what the, uh, the, the blend. blend is. On now, it. the country of origin not doesn't necessarily have to do with the yarn. It has more to do with the the assembly of the towel or the weaving where the weave is created in the case yeah. of towels. Um, not going to name names. There are some that say it's imported from a certain country. Right. It's manufactured in Korea, shipped from Korea to Europe, and then they import it from Europe to the U.S., but, and so they say it's imported from there. That's misleading. Right. And so what you really want to do, if you want to get informed, find out what that true country of origin is and find out where the weave is because that'll, that'll give you some good clues. Not always because there's, there's good and bad in every country. Right. Um, we take very painstaking steps to make sure that you're getting the best of the best from any of our factories. And, yep. and, and this is, uh, we're, we're in this for the long haul. We want to make sure you get what you need. Yep. Yeah. Now, one towel we didn't talk about too much is the waffle weave. One of my favorite drying towels. That is true. And there's, there's some real differences in waffle weaves as well. Um, cosmetically, a lot of times you'll see where one has a larger cell. Yep. And, and not always, but typically if you see a larger cell, 
Most of the time it's from a Korean factory. If you see the, the much smaller cells, it comes from the Chinese factories. That's not always the case. I'm not going to imply that at all because um, we can get either or from both, both of ours. Um, but there is a difference with, with the, uh, you know, once again, blend comes into play and GSM, particularly GSM. Going back historically with a lot of the old, big, thick uh, Chinese waffle weaves, they scratched. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times the reputation was, oh, I don't want to touch a waffle weave. That's going to scratch my finish. The newer waffle weaves, no, you're, you're fine. You're not going to scratch. Um, but that's a lot of times the impression is, and like you alluded to earlier, whether you go to the waffle weave for your glass or a herringbone style, a lot of it is, is you know, what works for you and, and what your experience is with yeah. them. For a lot of the old, old time detailers that maybe had some of those big thick ones, um, in our case, we, uh, you know, ours is actually a little bit thinner, and that's by design. We don't want necessarily a big thick. We can make a big thick waffle weave. That's not the problem. Uh, a lot of times, when you're using it as a drying towel, you, you take a big 550 GSM, 600, <coughs> you know, do a big Herkin, you know, GSM yeah. waffle weave, and you try wringing that puppy out, and you're not going to get a couple drops. No, you're just, exactly. you know, you're you're struggling, and a lot of times, you know, we'll get customers and they'll say, well, that's that's kind of thinner. It's by design. And the reason is to make it easier to wring out. Um, it's easier to work with. Efficiency. You guys preach it all the yeah. time. And this is, this is one of those steps. It's by design. Make it easier to wring out, but also make it absorbent enough that when you, we have people that do the blot method or you're, you're mm -hmm. you know, dragging it or, or, you know, whatever your method is that you're doing, you want to make sure it's going to be absorbent. The, the pockets of a waffle weave are there by design. Call them thirst pockets. Pockets. Thirst pockets. <laughs> suck up that moisture. Suck up the the liquid, and and it, it's a great design. It's been around a long time. It's very you know it's a very good uh, mm -hmm. tool in your arsenal. Yeah. Um, it's great for glass. Great for paint. Great for drying. You know, however you use it. Like you say, you you've been using them for decades. Right. And, and uh, you actually have one as your drying towel for yourself personally. Yes. <laughs> he gets out of the shower and he uses I, a waffle. Dry me a river. Yeah. Yep. A very large good one. choice. Yeah. <laughs> So, and then we have the pluffle. Yes, sir. Uh, plush the hybrid. Plush waffle, we, the hybrid. Yeah. Um, when the factory approached us, a lot of times, you know, we design a lot of our own products. Um, matter of fact, probably 99% of our products we design ourselves. And in this case, the factory actually sent us a sample of the material and said, what do you think? And we're kind of looking at it and it's like, well, that's really a funky design with these little divots. And we thought, well, looks kind of like a waffle weave and kind of like a plush like the Eagle. You know, it's got the same, same uh, uh, plush material on it. But in this, so then we went and tested it out. Now, absorbency, when, when you get into the blends and stuff, absorbency is, is uh, another way, uh, semi-scientific method you could do is for most of your terries, you can get about a seven, seven times your weight uh, on a good quality terry. A ninety ten? No, no, no. <laughs> You're going to get about a three. <laughs> yeah, you know, but uh, you know, but for a uh, for a good quality uh, eighty twenty. You're going to get about a seven seven times your weight absorbency rate, and that's just take the weight of the towel, dip it in, get it soaked up, you know, pull it out, weigh it. On average, you're going to be about seven times that weight um, of, of moisture added into it. Um, when you get into some of the really good uh, high-end 70/30 blend towels, say like the Eagle, uh, the Waffle Weave, the Minx, any most any of these others you're gonna get up to about a 10 to one, uh, which is really good. And we've tested all our competitors' towels. We look at, at what they're doing. We watch the market. We, you know, we, we want to we want to be fair in our representation. We don't want to right. throw out some wild number. You know, you see some of these sometimes. We try to be very, very truthful, very accurate with what we're sharing. Right. The pluffle came back as the most absorbent towel we have ever tested by far. Um, the first sample that we got, the first prototype, came in at 11 to 1. We'd never yeah. seen that before. Uh, we were so excited. It's just like, we had to do the test again. And yeah. Look at the scale. It's like, oh my god. Do it again. It's yeah. like, okay. But three times in a row, we got... This is this is really really cool, um, eleven times the weight, and and so it uh, it's really proven itself to be a, a wonderful drying towel. Yep, um, it's one of my favorites. You it's, use it in your shop. <coughs> yeah, I used it in my shop, and my guys loved it. We used it on our customers' cars, and and same thing. It's a towel that a 
customer when they feel it, they're like, w "What is this? Yeah. Where did this come from?" <laughs> um, it's an alien. Yeah, yeah, and it, you know, again, goes right back to the quality of your detail. If you're using some nice towels, your customers appreciate that. They see it and they go, "Man, that's so nice of what you're putting on their car and you're touching their paint with." Um, they see it, they feel it, they like it, um, and you know, we carried these in the shop too, and we'd sell them to customers because they they wanted to have it and they loved it. Yeah. So. Um, and then, of course, our Eagle Edgeless. That's kind of our flagship product, more or less. Uh, it's one really helped us go viral many years yep. ago, and and uh, it's really withstood the the test of time as as uh, an effective all around high value, uh, high high end towel, yep. I guess, because you can dry, you can polish, buff, uh, waterless wash, rinseless wash, you know, just the whole gamut. Um, it's a great all around, I, not to be confused with an all purpose, but an yeah. all around but towel. There yeah. are a number of guys that, that literally just buy this towel, they'll use it on the interiors, they'll use it on the leather, they'll use it on their glass, they'll use it on their paint, that's just that good of a towel all the way across. Yeah, I know, it's a great towel, it's soft, it's, uh, <clears throat> It has a bit of bite or grab to yep. it as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's not oh, it's not too extreme. It's it yeah. fits in that just, you know, just it's right. Not like, I know you guys have an 1100 GSM towel, which is like I said, it would be a great make a great bathrobe or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as a uh, especially in a uh, professional detailer setting, yeah. using that on a car, it's a little overboard. Yeah, agree. For the home hobbyist at home, doing his car on the weekend, great. Yep. Have fun with it. Well, and, and we use these as a final touch towel in yeah. my shop. This was the last towel to touch a car that was finished. And that's what we would walk out with right. the customer. We're walking around looking at their car with them. This is the towel we would have in our hand uh, to wipe off anything, touch up certain things. And that's what drew them. They'd look at that towel and go, oh, what is what is that? Yeah. Um, because it's such a nice <laughs> towel. And but, it's it worked for that. But in a production setting, it wasn't our. <laughs> no, exactly. But, you know, the, <clears throat> as much. Great as the Eagle Edges is, I really like this one. That, the new Minx is yeah. amazing. So, yeah, we really not, like yeah. it too. We kicked that off a few months ago, and yeah, it's been a fantastic towel to add to the lineup. Uh, yeah. Uh, the price point is great, uh, super soft. It, it's, you know, we, we sell a lot of good products. Um, yep. That's probably the softest one that we sell. Yeah, yeah. it's quickly becoming a, a company favorite and yep. favorite in the industry, so. And we, we touched on a couple new things that are coming. So, yep. the suede edge. Suede edge. The suede edge, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're not gonna do that on all of our towels. Part of it is price consideration as well. Yeah. Because um, it does add a little bit more to the cost. I mean, you're putting a, a real high-end suede like that. Uh, it doesn't come cheap to, to do that, but it's oh, absolutely worth it on a, on a really nice high-end drying towel um, where you want that leading edge to be as mm -hmm. absorbent as possible to reduce any chance of, of uh, streaking or anything like that. Um, we've got some new mitts coming, a glass mitt, a drying mitt, all kinds of new products. This yeah. is, we're excited. Now, you may be watching this a few years down the road. <laughs> right. right now, we're in February so, of 2017. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, when, you, when you're watching this in 2020, you might say, well, they got 20 of these in their lineup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not that we're only new in twist piles. For <laughs> yeah. Now, right? But yeah, and the, the twist piles, another new thing coming. Yep. Or, it will be new in 2017. Yep. Uh, and you know, we mentioned it earlier, it's a, a really different feeling towel. It's something that the first time you touch it, it's like, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you use it and you go, oh yeah. Yeah. Good. It's, <laughs> it's definitely one of those. And, and we know when we start selling it, it's gonna, we're gonna get the comments, well, it, it just doesn't feel soft and plush like the others. Use it, try yeah. it, yep. you know, put it to the test. Exactly. Yep. And Levi, I'm sure we'll be doing many videos on it. We will, we it's, gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited about all the new stuff. I'm excited about all the new videos we've got coming. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good year for us. It's gonna yeah, be a good, uh, good for the industry. And, and our whole goal is to educate and teach. And so the next time someone says like, yeah, you just gotta use the all purpose. Well, they're all purpose for a reason. They're gonna work on it in every situation. Sure. But they may not work for your situation. And that's why we have all these different types all these different blends. Everybody likes a different towel for a certain reason. Right. Uh, every towel is going to have its strengths and its weaknesses. Um, the Jack key is, of all trades, but master of none. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the key is to just educate yourself. Uh, try them, learn them. Uh, and again, we, we try to let everyone know GSM. Find out the GSM. Find out the country of origin of your towels. And find out the blend. Go to Walmart. Go to shop. Go to Shucks or O'Reilly's. Go to the auto parts store. 
uh, go to Home Depot and look at the microfiber towels the next time you're there. Look at the back of them. See where they come from. See what the blend is. Sometimes you'll find it, sometimes you won't. Hit, you, hit you our can. competitors. Yeah. Find them. See what they've got. Um, the key is to just educate yourself as to what type of towel you're purchasing. Um, I can say that this is a super plush. I won't tell you the GSM and I won't tell you the country of origin. But if you know the country of origin and you know the GSM, you're a little better armed and you'll know why it costs more. Because if I'm selling you a 9010 from China, but I'm telling you this is a $5 towel, well, it might not work because yeah. this guy's got a 7030 towel from Korea that's, that, yeah. that is a $5 towel because of these reasons, because of the blend, because of the edges, because of the manufacturing processes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if you can find a 9010 towel, buy it. Just as a yeah. educational experience, try a 90-10, try an 80-20, and try a 70-30. Yep. If you can find some that, let's say, all Terry weaves all around the 300 GSM weight, yep. try the three. You will see, you, you will feel the difference, You will, the absorbency especially. Yeah. That's, where you, yeah. that's where it gets me is, you know, a 70-30, you can, wow. It just blows you away. Compare, especially an 80-20 and a 70-30, there is a difference, it's visible. But when you compare it to a 90-10, it's really night and day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you can find 95-5, ooh, even better. <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah. I, I call that the unicorn. It's fun to look for. Uh, I've even, I've, I find myself when I'm bored at the store and I'm yeah. just wandering around, I'm like, I'm gonna go look for, see if I can find one. It's a fun game to play, so. And you can uh, usually find it at uh, sort of the, the discount stores and yeah, the cleaning yeah, section. Yeah, dollar stores. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, yeah. it's yeah. fun to try and find those too, so. Uh, point is, educate yourself. That's our whole goal here at Detox is to try and teach and share knowledge and share your experience with others. Um, so if you guys have any more questions on the comments or anything like that, feel free to message me or send a comment below. Um, email me at Levi at the rag .com. You can subscribe right above Jeff's head. Right over there. <laughs> uh, Ivan, thanks for being on here. Appreciate Always a it. Pleasure. Thanks and for me. thank you for having the boss man. Hey, Finally, come on detox. Appreciate he, it. He fits the bill for all this, so I'm glad he gets his money was worth yeah. today. <laughs> we we almost had to break his arms to get him on here. Yeah, <laughs> but he's on, and, the, and and I really appreciate it. Oh, so, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to watch more detox right here on the Rag Company YouTube channel.